Hello everyone. Today is part 4 of Mark 11, 12 through 14. On the following day, when they came from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to see if he could find anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For it was not the season for figs. And he said to it, May no one ever eat from you again. And his disciples heard it. Now, we are on part four of this fig tree thing. And the thing that we're pulling out is that Jesus cursed this fig tree, though it was not its season to bear fruit. This made me look up things and study. And guess what? Prior to its being in season to bear fruit, it has a special fruit that does come. And not a fig fruit, but a breba fruit. It comes before the fig fruit. So Yeshua Jesus looked at that tree, saw that it was green and had leaves, and saw that it had no breba fruit. The, the pre-fruit fig fruit, which means it would not ever bear any fig fruit. So he cursed the tree. In the first part of this series, we told how that represented, the fig tree represented that he is in fact the Messiah and that the time is now for him to come and die for our sins. In the second part, we talked about ourselves, how we should not be hypocrites and not just have green leaves, but in fact, bear fruit. On the third part, we talked about how you just don't go from having no fruit to having fig fruit. You got to get that breba fruit. You got to work those spiritual muscles, love, joy, peace, long suffering. Be charitable to one another. Love the Lord your God for all your heart, mind, and soul. On the third part. On this fourth part, we are here to talk about how our fig fruit is going to be so much glorious so much more glorious than our breba fruit that we have here now on this earth. So, your final form is more glorious than anything that you can have now. Romans 8.23 And not only the creation, but we ourselves who have the first fruits, the first fruits of the Spirit, the breba fruit, Grown inwardly as we await for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. We're going to get new bodies. We're not going to have sin or anything in our life, in our minds, anything. We're going to be glorious through Christ. And as he died, he raised us. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to read the scripture. Because it's beautiful, you could just chew on it yourself i'm just going to read some scriptures to talk about our glorified form matthew 11, 11 truly i say to you among those born of women there has arisen no greater than john the baptist yet the one who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he so i just gotta say one more thing on that you see that they said john the baptist was the greatest of all that was born of women here. But guess what? When we go in heaven, all of that, nothing compares to the to the fig fruit, to the new new what we will be now in heaven. Our our spiritual life, our, our physical life, everything will be so much better. Who we are. Philippians 3 20 through 21. But our citizenship is in heaven. And from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power that enables him to be subject all things to himself. 1 John 3, 2 Beloved, we are God's children now, and we what we will be has not yet appeared, but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him. Because we shall see him as he is. 1 Corinthians 15.49 Just as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the man of heaven. 1 Corinthians 15.42-43 So is it with the resurrection of the dead, 
what is sown is perishable, what is raised is imperishable. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory, it is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. 1 Corinthians 15, 51-53 Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised in perishable and we shall be changed. For this perishable body must put on the imperishable and this mortal body must put on immortality. That is the rapture, my friends. That is the rapture. We shall not all sleep. Remember when we when we die, when Christians die, we sleep. But we shall all be changed. We shall all have glorified bodies. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I, I, I look forward to the time where where I, I don't have to fight. I just am like Jesus. I just get to be like Jesus. Glorified in, in, in no sin. I'll never be. Mm. Just look forward to it. I want to be closer and closer to him. I look forward to the time. When I don't have to fight on. This earth and. And, and always have little things. The old man. The. The sins that want to come in, into my head and things. And I don't have to fight and always crucify the flesh. I look forward to when I just want to be just and righteous. And just with a new body that Christ has given me. That is what I want. And I look forward to it. I look forward to it. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. May many be saved, Lord. And just thank you, Father. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're doing. And thank you for what you're going to do. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.